Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So, here we are with a Primark haul and I have three bags. I also have, okay, no, actually, I'm, I have two bags because of the twins, I'm not going to show you duplicate of everything, so one bag is just full of duplicates, um, but I have a product in this haul that I've never seen in Primark before. I feel like it is game changing for your hair so keep watching if you want to see what that is because I was actually mind blown when I seen it in Primark and yeah I also did a new in Primark which I have put as a short and let me know what you guys think of YouTube shorts because it's a bit different isn't it um, I've uploaded it as an Instagram reel as well and on TikTok but there was something in there that I'm a bit obsessed with which I didn't buy. The skincare fridge. I feel like now I really need a skincare fridge in my life. And I haven't got one because obviously I'm still living in the mobile home. And space is tight. And I think the last thing I need to do is put a skincare fridge somewhere. Because there just is not the room for it. But when we move back in to the main house I'm going to have to buy a skincare fridge so I hope it's like a regular thing that um, Primark have however I feel like it might just be one of those things that's in for a few months then out again but I might be lucky and it might still be there or they might bring it back in um, so yeah check out my uh, short if you want to see other new bits in I didn't buy everything obviously that I've shown in the short but it might be some more varied stuff that might not be featured in this haul today because this is just what I've actually purchased from Primark. So if we start off with things that I've purchased to wear for myself. So these straight leg jeans, they were £20 and it says made using sustainable cotton. I got them in a size 12. What I loved about them was the split detailing at the bottom of the leg. I feel like, I don't know, I just really like the way it looked and it would look really good with boots. Ugh boots. Um, so yeah, let's try them on and see what we think. Okay, so I've just put on the jeans and they're a size 12. And I feel like they're a little bit baggy around the waist, which never happens with a size 12 for me lately. Um, so yeah, not really sure what's going on there. So as I said, they're £20 straight leg. They're also a little bit long. Let me pan down. So here you can see, I feel like with heels... They will be fine and they'll actually look really lovely with a pair of heels. They're kind of like more an evening kind of jean than a day because if I wore flat shoes then um, they would just drag along the floor and maybe that was a look I was going for in the early 2000s when I used to wear those kind of jeans and they used to be dragged along the floor and water up to here. That is not the look I'm going for anymore so maybe um, in the evening they would look really nice with a pair of heels but they're also a little bit too big. Next up we have this grey and pink cardigan which was £12. I got it in a size small which is a 10 to 12 and I just love the colours. I feel like it's clueless meets 2022. Um, I would wear this, well I will wear this with jeans and i just yeah i think it's really cute and really fun because sometimes autumn winter can be like the colors in my wardrobe can be a bit flat and i really want to introduce a bit more color into my wardrobe this season um so this is the perfect way to do it it's still gray it's still neutral ish with a pop of pink okay so i really feel like this cardigan could have been pulled straight from Cher horowitz's wardrobe now if you're like me and you were obsessed with the movie Clueless, probably still am. I feel like it's such an iconic movie and I remember watching it when I was a kid and just wanting to be them and wanting to wear what they're wearing, everything. So yeah, love this cardigan. I feel like it looks really nice with a pair of jeans. You can tuck it in, you can fold it over, under or over, and um, under probably. And, oh, let's come out. I feel like this, these jeans from H&M really need a belt. Um, but, yeah, it looks so sweet and definitely brings that 90s 
pop of fun, pop of clueless fun to my wardrobe, which I always crave. So I then picked up this stripy top. I got it in a size large, so a 14 to 16, because I felt like it looked really small. Um, I know it's like a cropped jumper, and I will wear it with high-waisted jeans or trousers. Um, but yeah, £10 and it definitely looks small so that's why I sized up to a large but I'm just loving the whole stripe vibe. I want to get a couple more stripey bits for me and for the girls because I just really like it this season and not only this season it's also like a really timeless look and this is a bit different so let's try it on and see what we think. Okay so firstly I'm so glad I got this in a large. I'm not sure whether it's meant to be really tight but I think it looks better a little bit oversized so here it is on, I've paired it with these high waisted jeans which are actually from H&M, um, absolutely love them. How sweet does this little striped top look? You'd also wear it with joggers um, or some smart black trousers actually I feel like it would look really nice with but yeah, here is the stripy top. Okay so I feel like you're not going to appreciate this until you see it on but I am low key obsessed with this blazer, so I got it in a size 12 and it was £27. Now, before we went into Primark, I went into River Island, trying to find a black blazer because I feel like it's a really key piece um, for autumn, winter, and my one last year just wasn't cutting it. I got it, I can't remember where I got it from, but it just wasn't cutting it. I needed something a bit more structured, um, just better quality, basically. And I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting to find that in Primark. I couldn't find it in River Island, I could probably find it in River Island online, so I thought when I get home I'll order something online, but I walked into Primark and saw this beauty in Primark and I feel like it's such a beautiful piece from Primark, it's so like structured, um, it's like perfectly oversized without being too big, the quality feels amazing and I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it this year. It is stunning for £27. The pockets are also fully functional and what a steal. I feel like you can't see it perfectly. Slightly frustrating having to film in a mobile home, not gonna lie. I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit. I think that's a little bit better, gives you a better view, but this blazer is so lovely. Honestly, it fits like a glove and yeah, one of my favorite buys ever from Primark, I think. I feel like it looks so expensive and also feels really expensive as well so why don't primark this black blazer is everything i'm then going to move on to the wow product of the haul so it's this hot air brush which was 16 pounds and i feel like it's identical to the tiktok hot air brush if you guys know what that one is so here it is out of the packet and for 16 pounds i think it's an absolute steel i can't remember how much the tiktok one is i think it's around 40 pounds but i'm so looking forward to trying this one out and i am going to do a whole video on it separately so i'll hopefully film that early next week and that'll be up on my channel and on instagram um and tiktok but honestly what a steal um these brushes are so good and i feel like i've done this with the dyson and i did it yesterday so i mean kind of it's, it's been slept on and um don't judge it but it for that kind of like big kind of blow dried straight look i feel like this is going to be perfect and i'm really looking forward to trying it out and making a video on it if you are interested in seeing what this is going to be like then stay tuned early next week this video will be up so i'm going to move on to some accessories i got from primark including skincare now, I personally really rate Primark Beauty and Primark Skincare. Now, I go through toner like there's no tomorrow, and I've never actually tried toner from Primark before that I can remember. Maybe I have and I just can't remember. But this one says Refining Toner, Purifying Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Now, my mum used to always use tea tree products, so it always reminds me of her, and yeah. I just love it. So clear cooling toner is an absolute essential to me for my skincare and I'm gonna try the Primark one. So for two pounds, I'm very excited to try it out. 
I then went a little bit crazy in the Primark sock section. Now, I feel like Primark have gone a little bit crazy with socks, if I'm honest. These are £4. I think sometimes socks can just really change the way an outfit looks. And some outfits need a decent pair of socks. So, I've got the decent pair of socks. So, for £4, for two pairs. And these socks actually say infused with aloe vera. So, I mean how that kind of comes through in a pair of socks i have no idea but it also says made with recycled polyester so i have heard through the grapevine actually from my sister-in-law and um my friend that birkenstocks are really in for this autumn winter the birkenstock bostons i'll include a picture and apparently they need to be worn with socks like this so if you're after a pair of socks for your Birkenstock Bostons, then look no further than Primark. I don't have a pair of Birkenstock Bostons yet. I feel like I need some, but um, they're out of stock everywhere apparently. So let's see how I go with that. But yeah, socks for your Bostons. I then just got a couple of pairs of sports socks. Now I went a bit OTT purely because I share these socks with my son. So yeah, got enough to last us. I can't go to Primark without purchasing a pair of cosy socks in autumn winter and of course they had to be pink. Nowhere does cosy socks like Primark and they were £2 and it says they were made using recycled plastic. So obviously Halloween is coming up and do you know what the easiest thing for me to dress up as is a cat. So I got some cat ears that were £2 and my sister also got the same so... There you can see them on. I feel like a cat is such an easy thing to dress up as. Um, at Halloween, I can just draw on a nose and some whiskers and I'm done. And it was really easy and just wear a black outfit. So a cat is what I'm going to be. I'm then going to move on to some kids stuff. So it is vest season, of course, for the kids. And I got the girls these, which were £4.50. And I thought they're actually really sweet, the vests. So you can see they're like little strappy ones. I thought they were just really cute. So had to get those. I then got the girls some tights. So a pack of two, pink and cream for four pounds. I could not resist these pink Minnie Mouse boots. How sweet are they? So they were 16 pounds. And I just thought they're so sweet for autumn winter. Not only are they really sweet, they also look really durable. So hopefully they're as durable as they look. I then got the girls some Ugg dupes which are £7 and I just feel like you cannot go wrong with Ugg dupes from Primark. Real Uggs for kids are, I don't even know if I'm honest, I think they're around like £90 maybe more. So I feel like the dupes are just going to work really well because kids feet grow so fast and um for seven pounds you actually can't go wrong so i've got some hair accessories both for me and the twins actually so i thought those were really cute colors and they are two pounds and then i got some clips for the twins and they were one pound some socks for the girls they had some really cute disney ones and then some fluffy ones i actually could not resist these i felt like they were giving me frozen like vibes elsa anna the twins are obsessed with Frozen. Um, so yeah, I had to get those. I had to get the girls this tracksuit, this waffle tracksuit, which is so sweet. This to come with me and got my nieces them as well. So for £10, you get the top, which is a really lovely purple colour. And then the bottoms. So for £10, I thought it was a lovely autumn winter outfit. It would go really nicely with their pink Minnie Mouse boots or the rug boots. I saw this coat for £9 and thought it was so sweet. So the only age I had was four to five years and the twins are going to be three. But I feel like it looked really small. So I'm hoping it's going to fit them. I might have to roll the sleeves back. But we'll see. They have a coat for preschool already. And then they have a really big like winter coat but I felt like they needed something just a bit in between and oh this was the sweetest I love the shade of pink so they had quite a lot of coats actually in so if you are after a new coat Primark had quite a few I did a huge Matalan order the other day for the kids so the boys actually don't need loads obviously they're at school and
and they have stuff from last year. I do want to get some other bits as well, but I got them loads of stuff from Matalan, so I didn't need to get them loads of stuff from Primark. But I did get them some cosy socks and then this hoodie for Jensen, which I thought was really sweet actually. Um, like a graffiti kind of look. And it was £5, a total steal to be honest. And I got it in age 9 to 10 because it looked really small and I prefer it to be a little bit oversized. So that is the end of my Primark haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to look out for the Primark hot airbrush video coming next week and I shall see you guys soon.